She was born in Lebanon and raised in New York City. But Dearborn, Michigan is the place Miss USA, Rima Faki really like. calls home. I mean, if you leave Lebanon and you move to Dearborn, it's like you're still there. <laughs> Dearborn has the largest concentration of Arab Americans in the United States. And Faki has widespread support here. People were very skeptical uh, that an Arab American uh, or a Muslim American can have a chance to go that far. Imad Hamad, regional director of the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee, is one of Faki's biggest supporters in Dearborn. Uh, you want to uh, interview live on radio? Days after the Miss USA pageant, the phone in Hamad's office still rings with interview requests from around the world. They want to know how Hamad feels about Faki's accomplishment. We are a great nation of immigrants, and for an immigrant to have a chance and opportunity to become uh, Miss USA, that attests to our true American values that makes us uh, very proud of our Americanism. But some Muslims have raised questions about Faki's faith. Her family is Shiite, and some feel she does not represent the values of the faith because she wore a swimsuit during the pageant. Pictures that surfaced of her dancing provocatively before she was Miss USA have also raised concerns. I don't know why people would even consider that she is a role model for Muslims. She's not a role model for Muslims. She Osama Siblani publishes the Dearborn-based Arab American News. Faki's Miss USA win is a big story for the weekly publication. Although he does not feel Faki is a role model for Muslims, he feels it's unfair to make her religion an issue. Rima Faki was not selected based on her faith or based on her ethnicity. This is a beauty pageant. In the VOA interview, Faki defined herself and her views. <clears throat> well, my family is Muslim, so I was born into a Muslim family. But yes, I do have in my family people of the Catholic faith um, and other religions as well. So my father always raised us liberal more. Um, we're not defined by religion. We like to refer to ourselves as Muslims that are liberal. And there are many, actually, that are the same. Imad Hamad says even conservative Muslims should welcome Faki's accomplishment. Even those who may have some religious strict beliefs, who don't necessarily uh, agree with the concept, the same way they don't agree with the concept of uh, eating pork uh, or drinking alcohol or gambling or what have you, uh, they don't take away that this is a very prestigious, important role. And they see the value of correcting uh, uh, the image of Arabs in general especially after Matt, the national tragedy of September 11. Faki says she is eager to help change the image of Arab Americans. She says no matter where her path takes her, she will remain faithful to her roots and the country she now calls home. That this country is still built on opportunity and freedom, and we are all equal no matter what you are. And my father always says you don't know who you are until you know where you came from. And so I feel that that's a, I'm a good example of that. The next stop for Rima Faki is the Miss Universe pageant in Las Vegas in August. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Dearborn, Michigan.